and so does ours. We might not be alone. Oh, shapeshifter. Everybody dies. Siemano w kolejnym odcinku, lecimy dalej z fabułą, słuchajcie, teraz po wyjściu ze Svartalheimu jesteśmy w krótszej przystani i tu jest jakieś, jakieś zadanie też z tym związane, więc od razu pojedziemy tutaj, zanim wrócimy do Svartalheimu, zobaczymy co tutaj jest grane po prostu. Jak Wam się podoba, pamiętajcie sobie kopa w górę, komentarz dla zasięgów, zapraszam na Twitcha, Discorda, do obejrzenia poradników na temat tejże gry, a my lecimy dalej. Co? O co tu chodzi? It's over. How have you been? The fire made me think of the myths and legends Sven loved. Would you indulge me with a tale? I would be glad to hear of Svartalfheim. I would not tell it half as well. But his favorite was a fable. To remind us to find meaning in our deeds, and not in how others think of us. Svartalfheim was not short of legendary dwarven blacksmiths. Everyone has heard of Ivaldil, Rokkur, and Sindri. But this tale is of a stonemason. He lived as far south as he could, where Gulnamar meets Vangrid. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory. His love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore, seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful, glittering, shimmering across the water. Upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built a boat, working long into the night. He set sail and found many rocks that sparkled and dazzled upon the island. He cried out in joy. To craft anything from such stones, he would be remembered for all time. Then he felt a sudden sting on his foot. Then another, and another. His eyes adjusted to the dark. So consumed was he by his desire for renown. He failed to realize he had walked into a nest of snakes until it was already too late. And so, clutching the stone that sealed his fate, there he died. Remembered, yes, but only for his folly. A fine tale, Toby, and well told. Sven would be proud. Okej, okay, dobra, czy to będą nam po prostu opowiadać jakieś historyjki, tak? Ale chyba nie mamy na to czasu, tak mi się wydaje, żeby to wszystko, wszystkiego tego słuchać. Król i jego dziedzictwo, no w sumie są trzy, tak? Ta nam zajęła gdzieś ze dwie minutki, dobra, zróbmy to, odhaczmy będzie z głowy po prostu. To ma też, myślę, w jakiś sposób nawiązanie do, do Odyna samego, tak mi się wydaje. Perhaps too old. Late one night, consumed with worry, Raidmar walked in the shadow of his vast mountain top palace, tears in his eyes. A great king, what ails you? A voice said, afraid. Raidmar so no one. Who goes there? He replied. Then 
he saw who addressed him. A vast and ancient tree. Perhaps almost as old as Ymir himself. Raidmar sat upon its roots and told the tree he feared he was too old to give his subjects the legacy they deserved. The tree was so moved, it wept and offered its tears to Raidmar. Drink, great king, it said, and your woes shall be washed away. Raidmar observed the grass, the meadows, the leaves of the tree. His subjects' happiness could be seen in how they cared for the land. His legacy was all around him. Raidmar felt at ease, realizing he had everything he needed, and asked that the land receive the tree's gift instead. The tree's happy tears flowed evermore, enriching the land. Nine moons passed, and a baby's cry rang through Raidmar's palace. Long would dwarves place gifts in the weeping tree's roots, in memory of Raidmar and his kindness that shaped all he touched. All things happen when they should, old friend. Mm. I hope so. No dobra. Wiecie co, skończymy te opowieści, ja i tak dorzucę te timery na odcinku, żeby ktoś, kto nie chce tego oglądać, tego słuchać, to sobie przewinie po prostu. Jestem zbyt zbyt Which is how Thor flooded Svartalfheim. Thor, fast to act, but not so fast to think, would stomp and thump and fight and bump everywhere he and Mjolnir should go. One day, he fought a giant in Jotunheim with such ferocity that Thor's killing blow was felt through all nine realms. The ground shook. Mountains rose up, hills tore apart, creating canyons, and north of Svaladal, the massive lake that housed the springs of Yggdrasil split open, flooding all of Svartalfheim. The dwarf king, Kraithmar, acted swiftly. He built three mighty dams, preventing further damage to his realm, working alongside his beloved subjects. So surprised was one builder to see the great king working as an equal that he slept, tumbling into the raging waters below. Without hesitation, Raidmar leapt, once from his horse and again from the center of the dam's lip, diving into the frightful torrent. Before the builder could even cry for help, Raidmar was pulling him onto dry land. And so two giant statues were built to honor the king, one for each leap of unthinking bravery, and stood until the end of days. Until Ragnarok. Aye, so you see, actions ripple outward, like a stone falling into a lake, or like Thor crushing a Jotun skull with Mjolnir. Affecting everything. The foretold or unknown. I fear my tale has only worsened your concerns. Hmm? No, a good story is uh, a lark that feeds a mind's flame. Thank you, friend. No, you're stuck now. Let's go. I hear you seek tales of Svartalfheim. You are not alone in your glimpses of the Aesir. You have seen them too? No. 
only the power the visions hold, and their effect on those ones held dear. You? Speak of Sigurd. Do you want my tale or not? There was a dwarven miner who cared only for his work. Mining was all he knew, all he wanted to know, and all he would ever know. One day, he heard a strange noise. All his long life working in the northern mines of Vangrim, he had never known a boulder to squeak. He ignored it at first, but as the hours passed, Squeaking continued relentlessly. When the miner could take no more, he split the boulder apart with his pick, and then he saw a squirrel. Until now, pinned by the boulder, afraid and tired, the freed squirrel climbed into the miner's long beard and slept for three days. When the dwarf awoke the next day, he found fruit and nuts waiting for him. A gift from the squirrel. The first the miner had ever received. Finally, the miner had a friend. The squirrel led the dwarf to a stone hill within a lake. There, the dwarf would fish for supper while the squirrel played in the trees. One night, watching his fish in line, the dwarf drifted off to sleep smiling, enjoying the happy squeaks of his friend above. When the sun rose, its light did not find a dwarf, for he had turned to stone, his short-lived bliss captured evermore. And the squirrel? It never left his side, hoping his friend would awaken, just as the miner had waited for the squirrel to do the same. Sigurd. He is not lost to us. No, dobra, i chyba mamy wsio. Pytanie, co dalej możemy zrobić? In every great story, there's truth to be found. Na pole powieści. A, i odblokowaliśmy sobie w ten sposób chyba jakieś lokacje w tym, tak? W Swartalheimie. To spoko. Dobra, słuchajcie, jak ktoś będzie chciał to pominąć, to ja wstawię oczywiście info, gdzie, co, jak i, i w ogóle. A my lecimy dalej. Miejsce w lesie. Czyli... tam. Dobra, to lecimy. Ciekawe, czy to będą jakieś side questy nowe, w sensie w tym Swartalheimie, czy... E, nie to, X. Czy po prostu znowu jakieś takie ciekawostki, nie? Się zobaczy. Przejedźmy tu. A, to nad rzeką, dobra, let's go. Cyk i cyk, tu będziemy to. No i co tu się wydarzy? What purpose will that serve? You are too much the warrior, Eivor. You will not recognize your fear until you are helpless before it. Drink. W sumie też prawda. And you say this will bring the vision back. Is that all? You, you mean to leave me here? Teraz pewnie będą jakieś wizje czy coś. This is. Why must that be tight? Who 
go tam przybliż na czpała, nie? Walka? Tak przynęta jakaś czy coś? Untie mi! The wolf is coming and I... I cannot reach my weapon! Walka! Walka! Był jakiś niedźwiedź. So many. Where did they come from? I have to break these bones. No, no, no. The more I struggle, the tighter the bonds become. A mogę się rozejść czy nie? There must be a trick to this. What did Valka say? Give into it. Be still. No, no, to się nie ruszamy. It's working. The bonds are loosening. Okay, na brat, trzeba było się trochę po prostu nie ruszać i wtedy spróbować. Free. Now for the reckoning. They fade like a nightmare upon waking. What illusion is this? Accursed phantoms! Come then! You will not find me lacking! Ilu was tu, kurwa. Cyk. No już, stawaj. Cyk, cyk. Trochę za długie są takie właśnie rzeczy generalnie, według mnie, tak samo było z tamtymi toporami w poprzednim odcinku. The wolf is gone for now. Ta i kładziemy się w krzaki, tak jest. I'm ready, Valka. It is time. Dobra, szybka drzemka, tak? Po dobrym haju, dobrze się wyspać. Vats of fame, even after all these eternities away, I still hate the place. Yet it offers me the hope of revenge, sweetest of morsels. The realm is changed, but this is not Sutra's doing. It is something more. I must find Broker and Ivaldi. They'd better still have my Salaka nice and safe. No, dobra. Sprawa z głowy. I co mamy dalej? Spotkaj się z brokerem, w którym miejscu? Pokaż mnie to. Czekajcie, raz, dwa, trzy, cztery. Czy już wszystkie odkryłem? Chyba tak. Tak, dobra, więc zbliżamy się do końca z tego, co widzę chyba. A lecimy tutaj w takim razie. What? Has the shelter fallen? These muspels are a plague. U. Schowajmy się szybko. Co 
back. Yes, yes. One moment while I clear up this mess. Banya. Okay, ty ještě vstával chod. Já jsem tu jsem ještě. Hoš tu, hoš tu, hoš tu, hoš tu, hoš tu. Mám to za tebe. Co? Co? Tyk, dawaj, wstawaj, ziomek. The Salakar, it, it's all that matters to him now. Okay. You should learn from his example. Now where is he? Where? The other night, he spoke of exploring the crater of Atri to seek out more answers. He takes the Salakar to Sutra's front door. Wait! Where have you been these past few days? Days? No matter. It is where I go that matters. And where is that? Atri? Wherever I can find vengeance. Calm yourself, Harvey. Collect your wits. An eye for an eye will leave us all blind. What do I care of eyes? Dobre. Dobra. Lecimy do Atri w takim razie i to będzie tu na środku. Tak jest. No i to chyba będzie już ostatni fight, tak no to się zachonosi. Okej, okay, dobra. Let's go. Dobra, gdzie ten chłop będzie siedział? No, jest pytanie za 100 punktów. Dobra, to jest jakaś hacienda, więc sprawdźmy tutaj. No nie, tutaj. Tam jest. Co już się stało? Już mnie zabrali? Take it easy, it's right here, nice and safe. I wanted to investigate something, but then I tripped and... Can you walk? No. Oh, then I shall carry you. Oh, gentle! Ah, I ain't a bleeding sack of spuds, you know? Jest kolejny krastom, którego trzeba nieść. What have you learned of the Salakar? Might just know how to use it. Of course, you going after Surtur. You will most likely end up feasting in Valhalla. Valhalla? It is for the feeble and the blundering. No, I shall not die. Worlds may end, but I, Harvey, shall abide. What about Sindri? You calling him feeble? What would he be doing in... Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. He is there in Valhalla, of course. For one such as he, it is a great honor. <laughs> okay, Tovel. Now then, this looks like a good place to put you down. So, tell me the Salakar's purpose. Mm. Having a clue? Can it kill Sutra? Well, that ain't its purpose. But yeah, I think it can. How? It harnesses the light. A lot of light. That was Balthus' gift. 
to turn day to night and back. Is that why Sutra stole his hooker? Yeah. The others, they're just for balance. But, see, there is one more in there. Like boulders. Incomplete. Whose is this hooker? Sutra's. An itsy bitsy snippet, mind you. Uh, I don't understand. I think. I think if the Salakar touches Surtur, the two will come together. The Salakar is already complete. Nothing gets in or out. A torn Hooger will always try to reunite itself. His might just be strong enough to do it. If that happens, he will become the Salakar. Then nothing can stop him. Only if he can control all that light. But I don't think he can. His old carcass ain't made for it. It'll be like trying to hold the ocean in a single <laughs> hog's bladder. This thinking, how can I be sure you're right? You ain't heard all me workings out. Do you truly believe the coming together will be too much for Sutra? Uh, best try it when he's weak. Ideally dead. Well, not dead dead, of course. Just normal dead. Before he wakes up all over again. You've done well. Now give me the Salakar and leave this place. It is too dangerous. I ain't leaving. I come this far. Do as you're told, friend. Nie wiem, gdzie on to trzymał, ale dobra. No dobra, i mamy chyba tak. Zmierz się z Surturem, czyli ostatni boss fight pewnie to będzie. No, tak mi się wydaje. No i dobra, dobra, słuchajcie, no nie będziemy tego rozbijać, więc yy, ostatni odcinek zrobimy sobie po prostu z fajtem z nim, tak więc yy, to by było na tyle w tym odcinku. Jak Wam się podoba, sobie kopa w górę, komentarz do zasięgów i widzimy się w następnym odcinku. Trzymajcie się. Cześć! Avengers Almighty Odin! For only a god can kill a god. Everybody dies.